We've been having a blast at the Hot Rod Show today in Dallas. All kinds of cool cars. I hope that you get a chance to get out of the house, go out and see what's going on in your town. All right, what we got here is a 2016 supercharged LT4 Corvette with Weapon X pulleys, eight-speed automatic with a paddle shifter, K&M carbon fiber intake, and an LG carbon fiber heat exchanger. This is one badass flipping vet. I don't even like new vets, but just take a look at this bad boy. It is a sweet ass ride. All right, so I'm here with Ken, and right off the bat when I came in, this car caught my eye. If you've been watching the channel for a little bit, you know we're all about Corvettes, mostly C4s, but Ken is gonna tell us all about his badass vet. So Ken, tell us, what was your inspiration for this theme on the car? Because it's definitely themed, and what do you call the theme? Well, this is, uh, I call it the Warhawk. The Warhawk. Warhawk, because it's a uh, based off of a P40 Kitty Hawk, which they called Warhawk Hawk during World War II. Right. So um, the thing was, I mean, we're, we're big veteran supporters. My wife was military. Got a lot of family that's military, and so I wanted to do a military theme car. Okay. So was um, she Air Force? My or wife was Army. Army. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go watch the ride. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I did this theme, uh, you know. We're big veteran supporters. We do Veteran Day parades, all kinds of stuff for veterans. So, and so we went with that, with this theme for the, uh, I call it, which I haven't finished it. It's not finished all the way. It's not finished. It's not finished. Not, Few not project cars are ever finished, yeah. are they? So, so when it's done, it'll be the name would be Warhawk. Okay, we're going to start up here at the front now. Is this a stock engine or is it's, she all, been... it's all stock. It's all OEM. Yes. So reliable stock. I like your white uh, valve covers. Yeah, I, I, I did that. I had to, I replaced them. I didn't like the I didn't like the stock gray. So I went with I had painted them up and did that. Now the, the cone is for landing, right? <laughs> yes. I got the car on this side it says. Oh, got it, got it. Now this is awesome. We remove the four flight. Remove the four flight. Really, really like it. Now, did you wrap it yourself? No, sir. You outsourced the wrap. Yes. Who did you use to wrap? I used a company called Shell Shock Wraps out of Wiley, Texas. Shell Shock Wraps out of Wiley, Texas, and I'm looking at the wrap. It is awesome. One thing I'm noticing about the wrap, it's got an instant patina on it. A lot of wraps are really flashy million coming at you but this one's got a built-in that, patina that's what we uh when we designed it i worked with their designer they have a designer and i told them i wanted to look used i wanted to look like it's been flying so this is this is supposed to be you know when a plane flies they get more absolutely so that's supposed to be like more supposed ah. to look like it's just been flying right especially during world war ii yes. those girls saw a lot of work yes. all right let's come around here to the back of the car Then you carry the wrap over everywhere. Yeah, they remove the spoiler, they remove the screws, and the wrap it, and then we put everything back to the top. Okay, and what year is she? This is a 2014. 2014. 2014 Z51. It was, uh, the original color is Arctic White. No wonder you didn't have to upgrade the engine with the Z51 package on Yes. It. Yeah, it's got the dry sump system. It's Gorgeous. a great car. All right, tell who's Bobo? 
Bobo's my nickname. On the other side, it says Duchess, which is my wife's name. Also, if you've been watching the channel, you know I have a Mitsubishi 3000 GT. And of course, Mitsubishi built the Zero during World War II, which was this plane's arch flipping nemesis, right? Yes. And apparently this Corvette has already killed, at some point this vet has killed four Japanese pilots, which we're still friends with Japan now, but that's really, really cool. Do you know what Mitsubishi stands for? No. Three diamonds. Three diamonds. Is that why the emblem looks like three diamonds? Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's even loosely translated to three chestnuts placed in a triangle, but that's a story for another day. Awesome. Ken, love, love the car, love what you've done with it. <laughs> love your patriotism. Awesome job on the car, and thank you for showing us around. And tell us one more time what year and what you got here. The 2014 Z51 2LT Corvette Stingray. And with the wrap on it, we call it the Warhawk. The Warhawk. You got to see this bed. Is it yours? No. It is the guy who's talking to you. Next, we've got a 2001 Corvette Z06 with midnight black interior and millennium yellow trim. This car has an awesome body kit, a sweet spoiler, and it's one hell of a vet. We had an awesome time at the Hot Rod Show today. We got some really cool interviews. We got to meet some really cool car enthusiasts. It was a blast. So I recommend if you're sitting around the house, you got cabin fever, let's get out social distance wear that mask whatever you need to do but go ahead and let's start enjoying cars again and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching